hi guys and welcome back this is my first ever video for 2021 yes welcome if you are new don't forget to subscribe like and comment and go ahead and smash that bell today my tutorial is on processing fish scales i went ahead and i scaled and got my top horn fish if you don't know about top horn fish go ahead and google what you waiting on as you can see i'm showing you they come in a variety of sizes what i did was i got my stainless steel bowl fill it with water dishwashing liquid and bleach and i squash it around rub them really good get them nice and clean and fresh because we don't want any stinky scales i went ahead and rinse and drain them with my strainer I laid them out onto my flat surface. I am using an old car mat. You can use whatever you see fit, but I use it so it can absorb most of the water. Right here, I am showing you that I, I went ahead and used the pieces off of the coconut tree just because, you know, it's light and airy and, you know, everything could stay nice and flat. And that's the whole purpose of me putting them on top of my fish scales. I can't remember the name of them. If you do, drop me a comment down below. But I will put the info in the description bar and drop a little something something on the screen. So what I'm doing is laying them flat. It's just like a jigsaw puzzle. No right way, no wrong way to do it. Um... There is going to be a part two of this video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye my fish scales before I use them. So maybe a part three also. Okay, maybe a part four. <laughs> LOL. Because what I want to do is I want to show you different ways that you can color your fish scales. I've been working with fish scales for several years. And as you can see, there's no science to this. You don't have to hurt your head. You don't have to have a PhD or anything, just throw the, and you don't have to use the coconut piece, I just choose to use it. What I'm doing is just laying it out flat so my fish tickle, they stay as flat as possible, even though they still will curl because, you know, they are just fish scales. And if you've worked with fish scales before, you know the struggles and the challenges with fish scales, but hey, I'm embracing it. Get any old cardboard that you have laying around. It is not a necessity, so don't hurt your head about it. Use what you have at home. This is a low-budget craft. In the end, I am going to turn my fish scales into jewelry. I'm going to make roses and different stuff. But you would have to subscribe in order to see what I do with these fish scales. Now, what you want to do is lay something out on top of them so they could stay as flat as possible, as mentioned. And I'm going to get something weighty. You can go ahead and use stones or rocks out of your yard. You can use wood, whatever you choose. You can use, don't use books, but yeah. Unless you want your fish scales to be smart. But go ahead and just put anything you have laying around the house or around the yard to anchor your cardboard down because you don't want them to blow away. I am doing this outdoors. You can do it indoors. I'm going to let these dry out for two days, two to three days, because I want that any residue or residual from the, you know, fishy scent, I want that gone. So how much ever days it takes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave them out in the sun to air out and dry. And this is an awesome way to use your natural resources, you know what I mean? So I'm going to let you continue watching the video so you can see what I'm doing. Everything else is straightforward. Until next time, deuces.